Dublin, Ireland, and the Temple Bar District, where Knight fans get a chance to enjoy themselves during this Crow Park Classic. And it's been an incredible week for UCF and their fans. And now we get set to play a football game. And Pat O'Hara, the Knights in Penn State, it's the first game of a season. What are the challenges that Coach Leary and the coaching staff are dealing with about the elements of unknown, not just for Pete DeNovo, but just the first game? Well, I think it's first game really from the quarterback position, too. I think it's the biggest thing. And James Franklin, new head coach from Penn State, really is going to bring a situation defensively where they're going to bring a lot of pressure. And on a young quarterback, UCF has to be prepared to handle that. All right, let's talk about Pete DeNovo. What do you like about Pete? What does he have to do in this football game for UCF to win? Well, last year, Pete DeNovo, Mark, ran the scout team last year, and, and really it was Justin Holman who was really the number two guy. And Pete did a great job to his credit, came in the spring, and now in training camp, it kind of took that job and grabbed it by the reins. Now he's got to hold on to it. He's got a lot of talent around him. He's just got to take care of the ball and kind of steer that truck down the, down the street in the right direction. You know, as Pete learns that position and the offense gets going, let's talk about the defense. The defense was so good last year, Pat, and yet didn't have much of a pass rush because of injuries. How good can UCF's defense be, and how important must they contain Christian Hackenberg in this game? I think we're all excited about UCF's defense. You know, when you go to practice, you see a bunch of the same bodies. It's going to be an easy game to call from a number standpoint. The back end is really strong. Terrence Plummer, really one of the top linebackers, in my opinion, in the nation. And really, that front four is pretty strong. They came on well towards the end of the year. Listen, won a BCS game, really matured over the course of the year. But hey, Christian Hackenberg, one of the top quarterbacks in the nation, he may not even be at Penn State next year as a junior. He's a guy that may potentially come out early. Pat, what does this game mean? We saw the magical ride last year, the win of the Fiesta Bowl. UCF opens here in Ireland. It's Penn State, a really challenging schedule. What is a game like? Penn State UCF mean? Well, I think the expectation level has really risen, Mark. I think when you win a BCS game and you only lose one game and really against South Carolina last year, a game possibly you could have won, now you have a big target on your back. Everyone knows you're, you're going to be getting their A game. So to start it off with Penn State and against Christian Hackenberg uh, on national TV in, in Ireland, it's going to be a great game. It's going to be a great football game, and our radio coverage will begin Saturday morning at 6.30. Kickoff is set for 8.30. It's been a magical trip thus far. We hope to end it with a victory against Penn State. UCF and Penn State, the 2014 Crow Park Classic. Knights fans, for more information on the Croke Park Classic, go to ucf.crokeparkclassic.com.